<clears throat> all right, Shalom, first and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. Greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you, hopeful elect out there. Shalom unto you. All right, your brother Shaquad here just wants to bring out um, this info. All right, uh, the WHO. Zero Drive Pandemic Treaty pushes for increased surveillance powers. Okay, the global unelected health agency is inching closer to being granted new legally binding powers. Okay. And why is surveillance the power that they want? Because they know what surveillance on there, and, and the type of surveillance that that they that they get, they already got these contact tracers out there. Let's not act like that just went away. Okay, that's still out there. All right, let's not act like this is something that um is is, is a is not you know just gonna go away, and 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 that they don't want supreme power on the earth, man. This is what they're really work working toward, man. This is what their agenda is. Okay, they want. A one world order, new world order, one world government that they can control and, and everything. And I, and I mean everything. They can watch it, control it, and have power over everything. All right? And, and we know this does set the scriptures. All right? It says the World Health Organization, who has released the latest zero draft of its international pandemic treaty, which will give the unelected global health agency new sweeping surveillance powers if passed the treaty requires the who whose 194 member states which represent 98 percent of all the countries in the world to strengthen the who's one health surveillance systems and uh i believe not not on this exact topic but um with the who but it, I, I did a video a while back called uh Big Brother is watching, but there's a video I do uh, from time to time, and Big Brother is watching, man. Okay, who who's Big Brother? Big Brother Esau, the Big Brother of Jacob, because that's who he's really concerned about watching. He wants to watch everybody, but he's really concerned about watching uh, you, Jakes, man, you Israelites, all right, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, watching to see if you stand up and call upon your God, and that's what we're doing. So he needs to see that moment so he can intercept that moment, okay? Because he knows the prophecy. Now, let me grab this, then I'll get back into the um, to the article. Bear with me. Second Ezra chapter uh, 6, I'll start at um, uh, verse 7. It says, Then answered I and said, What shall the parting, excuse me, what shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, which was spiritual, so, uh, signifying this moment that uh, the angels breaking down to, to Ezra here. It says, um, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So when they say Jacob is the end of the world, it's not meaning like the whole earth is going to be destroyed as people like to misinterpret it. He's the end of an age. He's the end of a, of, of a rulership. Okay? And the next world, the next rulership, the next age will begin, uh, will, will be ruled by the Israelites, by, by Jacob. All right? It says, uh, The hand of man is betwixt the heel and the hand of the question, Ezra's ask thou not. Okay, so that's he knows this. This is not a coincidence that he removed this out of the uh, out of the Bible uh, and hid it away in the Apocrypha. Okay, just to say it uh, in in that fashion. Okay, so let's go back real quick. All right, it says uh, one health is a who system that aims to optimize the health of people because they know that if we call on our God, man, we're gonna we're gonna get back on top. Matter of fact. Let me, uh, let me see. All right, Ezekiel 37. I'll start at, um, at 21. It says, and, and, you know, this chapter goes well. You know, I love this chapter. It says, and saying to them, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power 
Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side, even the Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst the heathen, and you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans that are also scattered, but no, you know, you, you, you don't look like the heathen, but you may look like, you know, our, our people, but some, some of our people look like the heathen as well. The Heavenly Father is going to gather all them up, starting with the elect, okay, and bring all those spirits, you know, and, and bring them back to uh, to being Israelites after death by pain to the, for the two-thirds of those other uh, Israelites, okay? And, and Israelite foreigners, all right? It says, um, and I will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, and they shall no more two nations, they shall be no more two nations, Right with the split that happened during, after the time of Solomon, all right. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms, the north and the south, of course, right? Uh, any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things. And this is what Esau's looking for to see if we're cleaning ourselves up. Why do you have all these so-called Bible thumpers coming against the Israelites? Why, why, why is it a problem for, for you so-called Negro Latinos and Native, or us so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans to start following the Bible and repenting and calling upon uh, the God of the Bible? Why, why is that a problem? Not, not in the folly, not in the name that, that, that Christianity, Christianity and these other um, religions teach, but one that, that we, we found through the Spirit to actually be um, uh, uh, an actual living power. Why, why is that a problem? Because they know if we come back into power, they, they get taken down. Okay? That don't only go for um for, for for the Edomites, that go for all the nations. When they consented with one consent, they understood that. Okay? It says, um, neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions, but I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them so they shall be my people and I will be their God. Okay? And David, my servant, shall be king over them. Right? And they shall, uh, they all shall have one shepherd and they shall walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant with a peace with them, and it shall be an everlasting covenant with them. The last thing an avenger in the earth, uh, 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 the son of perdition wants in the earth is for the people to be uh, at peace. Why do you think everywhere we go, there, there's an element of, of disorder and violence everywhere we go? Okay, you look at our neighborhoods, sirens and, 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 and sickly people. There's never really peace, man. There's gun violence, gangs, and all. It's just never peace around our people. We get too much of us together. A nigga moment kicks off. Let's go for the northern kingdom as well. You know, Hispanics and natives also. Okay. You get us around around each other too much, and it, it just agitation and wickedness kicks in, man. Okay, and a lot of times it, it, it's off of an idea or, or an energy that this Edom, these Edomites have pushed out. Okay, and it's just the curses as well, you know. So it says, uh, uh, and I uh, covenant with them, and I will the new the new covenant. It's not a new covenant. It's it's uh. It's the second covenant, if you will. All right, the first covenant was was that we would have to obey the statute laws and commandments, statute laws and commandments, perfectly, and we will be blessed over every other nation on the earth. The second one is that He will write it in our inward parts, those statute laws and commandments in our inward parts, and we will be perfect, so we can receive those those blessings. Okay, it says, uh, and I will place them. And multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forever. Okay, and that's, I'll read this one 27 also. My tabernacle also will be with them. Yea, I will be their God, be their power, right? 
and they shall be my people. And, and here's it, here it go. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, Yahweh, do sanctify Israel when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Okay? So this is what he truly wants in the earth. I mean, he, what he truly doesn't want in the earth. He's watching to see when we stand up and so he can break it up and intercept it. But we're growing at such an alarming rate. He's trying to slow it down, but he really can't. He's just doing it on the internet. Let's stop him. The corners, nobody's really listening to him, but the internet, let's stop that. Well, let's get him off the corners. Well, let's, they're going to try all these tactics, man. Okay, to no avail. Okay, that's why they've come up with this uh, this plan that they could uh, rule forever. Okay, it's something that they believe that they can rule forever if they accomplish. All right, but before I get that, let's get uh, this here. Psalm uh, 49 and like 11, I believe it is. Yep, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands by their own names. Okay, and that's speaking of the, the, the Edomites, man. Okay, this is how they rule. This is how they get down. They they don't ever want to go out of power. And, they, and they've and they realized in every other way that they've attempted this, it's never worked in history. That's why they're trying to set up this uh, technocracy. Because under this technocracy, they can surveillance, surveil everybody. Okay? And what did that surveillance give them? I'll get this in uh, 2 Thessalonians. The second chapter... Uh, I'll start around the third. Yep, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, showing you that it's the Edomite, the son of destruction, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God. Because he has a God complex. He wants to be like God. He wants to change the way the Most High uh, has set up the order in the earth, and he wants to make it to how, to how he wants it. Okay, and he feels if he gets his technocracy moving, he can run that. Okay, his NWO, he can run that. He puts a chip in you, he can run that. Okay? And and, 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 and that, that surveillance way of life, where he can uh, surveil everything you say and do, is all part of uh, the image of the beast that he's setting up. It's, it's not that he's setting it up, it's already set up. It just needs to be implemented. Okay? And then... Uh, made mandatory. So let me keep reading. It says, or that is worshipped, or so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Okay? That's a God complex, man. Okay? And how's he think to accomplish that? With that uh, M-A-R-K. M-O-T-B, okay? It says, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time, for the mystery of iniquity do already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way, and then shall that wicked be revealed, because it wasn't sure who the wicked of the earth was, because everybody was scattered and, and mixed up, you know, in the earth and renamed and, and changed lands and sent out to the islands. You wasn't for sure uh, who was who. But this man has been revealing himself. His agenda reveals him. Okay? It says, uh, uh, Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, with his prophets. And that's what he's looking for. And we are consuming his ass, man. Okay? We're calling him out. We're exposing his plan. He even got his own people expo exposing him. And, and the other heathen in the earth are sick of him. The other nations are sick of him. They're sick of their own people. Okay? They're talking about the, the Edomites are sick of their own people. Okay? They're a nation divided. A nation divided against itself. How can it stand? Okay? It says, uh, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. When he shows up, man, he's going to destroy these people. Now, let's stop there. Let's go back to, uh, I mean, let's go up to um, the book of Revelation. Okay, the 13th chapter. Uh, straight to the point, pretty much. Um, yep, verse 14. And this, uh, I got to start at 13. Ah, uh, yeah. And he exercises 
verse 12. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. What was the first beast before this, this last beast? It was the Roman Empire. Okay? And caused the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast, the Roman Empire, whose deadly wound was healed. They were taken out of power. And then they uh, was out of power for about a thousand years. And then they came back into power. Uh, during the time of the renaissance which the renaissance means rebirth it says and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men and he did that okay with big bombs and new and, and atom bombs and hydrogen bombs and now he has nukes all right and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. What is that? A way of life to the beast. A, 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 to the beast. A way, a, a, a way to live for the people, and it's surveillance based. Okay, so he can have that god complex by watching and surveilling everybody. And it's not just with cameras. I mean, cameras is a big part of it, but it's not just with cameras. He watches your IP address. Okay, he wants to put a uh, the M A R K in you so he can watch your heart rate. He can he can read your thoughts, man. He can know your timing. And when you look at things like these, this new Apple Watch and these different um, uh, 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 watches or whatever, when they they keep your your heart rate and they keep your step counter and they do all these things that seem so convenient. Oh, I walked twenty two hundred steps today. You know, people sitting up there thinking twelve thousand steps today and I feel great yeah this man is marking not only how many times you've walked around he could probably mark your stride he could probably mark I'm sure he marks when you walk the most and all of this man he's got everything laid out you're just willingly giving him all the information in this technology which is easy to, 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 to map out and, and keep okay in the cloud all right it says um which had the wound by the sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. And we're watching it speak with legislation that's, that people are going to just be down with. Okay, and, this, and it goes deeper than that. Okay, it goes deeper than just the surveillance part. They want to surveil everything. We've done the minority report type videos. Okay, that, that you can see where they're, do, they're doing pre-crime. They're going to get you with, with intent. They're going to say that you were intending on, on causing harm or committing a crime. They're going to lock you up for it. All right? And cause as that as many as would not worship the, the image of the beast should be killed. If you don't live by this surveillance technocracy type type way, you're going to be killed, man. How? By, by getting cut off. That's why it says verse 16, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell. If you can't buy or sell, save he that had the mark. If you can't buy or sell, you can't participate in the image, meaning you can't live, meaning you will be killed. Some will be killed and tortured, but mostly you'll just be taken out the way. Okay? Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And it goes on. So so let's go back to um to this uh article. Alright. This is what you see. Zero draft pandemic treaty pushes for increased surveillance powers. I mean, how much more do you want? <laughs> you know, you already got Patriot Act one and two on the books. How much more do you want? What more can you surveil after that? Uh, Eric Snowden showed us what you was watching back then, man. What more do you want? He wants it all, okay? He wants the birthright and the blessing back, and he'll take the most high out of the equation if he possibly could, all right? This man is the devil the Bible speaks of, man, and he will be taken out the way, all right? It says, uh, I don't even have to read any more of this, man. But I'm going to show you another article real quick. Bear with me. All right, look at this. This is on blacklistednews.com. We want to be on the right side of, of history. Ubisoft was a video game company, right? Partners with police to jail gamers 
for their in-game speech. Now, we already know they want to throw people in for misinformation, throw people in jail and, and find them for misinformation. If you didn't know, there's videos out there on that already. All right? But look, jail people for their in-game speech. So when you're playing live on the video game and you in the Call of Duty or whatever games you play, I don't remember all Ubisoft's uh, games. Let's see if they, I'm sure they got some games on here. That they that they uh let's see uh I'm sure um what was that one game they had they had um wow glancing over this my son was reading this earlier and he uh read some games that they have the games aren't even important because it says uh they they they're hoping to do this so that, so that other other uh, companies will will uh, follow suit. But let's get to the point that I was a threat to life. Okay, Andrew Holiday and his team deal with the cases that get uh, close to or reach the threshold for police intervention. This just this isn't just a gaming problem. It's an internet problem. Exactly. People have been laid down, man, and killed for shit they spoke on social media and the internet. And imagine you dunk on somebody in 2K and, and say, you know, talk some shit about it, man. They be wanting to fight you. They see you in the streets. Come in and, and, and spray you, man. Lay you down, man. You know, bring the chopper out on you and all that. Whatever they say in these streets now. It says, uh, there's a real appetite to make the whole ecosystem a better place. What we're working on closely with police is on triaging, you know, where we look at a case and decide right is the excuse me right is this is one that we can deal with in house or is this something we need to pass on gaming is global and some of the cases seen by staff here cross national borders that's why they're going to have to do a one world government policing system with this stuff okay and it goes on a lot more, man. It goes on a lot more. They're, they're trying to stop this. But, hey, people talk going to talk shit, man. People going to talk shit regardless. So imagine what's going to happen in the metaverse. If you remember the movie uh, Demolition, man, you couldn't even cuss in uh, San Angeles. You couldn't even cuss anymore. You were fined. You were fined 10 credits by the San Angeles, da 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 da, da whatever it was saying in the movie okay this is what they're making into but you're going to be walking around the metaverse and this is going to be happening to you okay this is what they're trying to set up this is that image of the beast man a full technocracy policing system that you that when you don't act right they cut you off from, from certain privileges as they're going to define them in the earth all right so i just want to bring this info out you know, Lord willing, this was that a I want to give all praises and glories. Well, hey, matter of fact, before I go there, look at what all they're doing, man. Look at what these people are actually out there doing. Okay? The only place you can escape this is in the spirit of your Howard Bosch and your side, man. This is going to come upon everybody, man. All right? Everybody's going to have to deal with this. So now, I want to give all praises and glories unto your Howard Bosch and your side. Bosch and your side. Lord willing, this was edifying. Double honor to our apostles and the elders of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you hopeful elect out there. Until the next one, man, we say shalom.